continuation of the previous um, video which is true for a galvanic cell. So we know for a galvanic cell G is equal to minus NFE. We also know that for a process to be spontaneous delta G has to be negative, delta E has to be positive. Delta G is here you can see delta G is negative, it is less than 0 and delta E is greater than 0. So this is our option C which is correct. Among the following, the valid statement for reaction at equilibrium is all reactions, all the reactions stop rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction, concentration of reactants and products are equal, entropy of the reaction is equal to zero. So we have the second option rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. To remember the Bragg equation we have learned earlier we have n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta where n is the order of reflection and can be 1, 2, 3 cannot be equal to 0. Lambda is the wavelength of the x-rays that are used. D is the distance between any two planes in the system and we have theta is the angle of reflection. So based on this also we can be asked some problems. We have learned about conductance of a solution. You have to know what is conductance of a solution. And here we have the specific conductance. Uh, specific conductance decreases with dilution and equivalent conductance increases with dilution. You also need to know the formula for both of the specific conductance and equivalent. Now, in chemical kinetics, we have the first order rate equation k is equal to 2.303 upon t log of n0 upon nt. Uh, usually n0 is used uh, in the case of number of radioactive atoms initially. Upon nt is the number of radioactive atoms present at any time t. So uh, radioactivity follows first order kinetics. So uh, when we uh, calculate the rate constant for the first order, uh, we use this particular formula 2.303 upon t log of a, a is our initial concentration and a minus x is the concentration at any time t. Suppose the concentration is given in terms of percentage, then n0 will always be 100. Similarly here, a will be 100 whenever percentage is given. And depending upon the problem, what is the concentration that is present at any time t will be your nt and it will be your a minus x. Now half life is equal to 0 0.693 upon k. So this is the half life for first order reaction. And for second order with equal concentration, we have K is equal to 1 upon AT into X upon A minus X. We have already calculated a problem based on uh, half-life for this second order reaction. And the formula for half-life is C half is equal to 1 upon A into K where A is the initial concentration and K is the rate constant. Remember the root mean square speed is given by the Maxwell equation 3RT upon M. M is the molar mass has to be in kg per mole. R is equal to 8.314 again in terms of kg. Um, Check the unit. A temperature is in degree Kelvin. Unit of R, as I have said, in the uh, SI system will be kg 
kg meter square second minus 2 kelvin minus 1 mole minus 1 so if you know the value of r and temperature uh, you can substitute here in this problem uh, in this formula a uh, square root of 3 r p upon n and find out the root mean square p then also we have the most probable velocity is the velocity which is repeated more number of times um, we can also calculate it using the uh, Maxwell formula square root of 3 r t square root of 2 r t upon n and we have to we can also calculate average velocity which is equal to root of 8 r t upon 5 n the average velocity of a gas molecule is 400 meters per second calculate its root mean square velocity at the same temperature so you are given average velocity of a gas molecule uh, that it is 400 meters per second and you have to calculate the root mean square velocity at the same temperature the gas is the same so molecular weight will be the same temperature is the same so we have the equation average velocity is equal to square root of a r t upon pi m remember this as equation 1 and we have the root mean square velocity is equal to square root of 3 r t upon n remember this as equation 2 if you divide one by the other then uh, you can see uh, r T will cancel out, R T will cancel out, okay, temperature is constant, M also will cancel out. What is remaining there is uh, 3, 3 upon 8 and 5. So it will be, if you solve it properly, we get the square root of 3 upon 1 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have split the square root of 8 upon 5. And uh, it works out to, it works out to square root of 3 into square root of 5 by 8. Which you can work out and find out it is equal to 1.085. Now, uh, we have here, we have, Velocity, if I uh, simplify it, velocity, uh, root mean square velocity divided by average velocity is equal to 1.085. And you are given that the average velocity is equal to 400 meters per second. So, root mean square is equal to 1.085 into 400 meters per second. So you can multiply this and it works to 435 meters per. The units of zero order reaction rate constant is that. So for that you have to know the zero order rate constant. Uh, we write k is equal to x upon t. Okay, so this is our equation. k is equal to x upon t. And uh, M is nothing but the concentration and T is time. So the concentration will be say moles, moles per liter, okay, or we write it as M divided by uh, units of time, say second, it can be minutes, it can be years, it can be hours, and so on. So what will be the unit of zero or the rate equation? Um, Unit of K, it will be moles per second, moles second inverse. The potential of the following cell is the cell is given. We have platinum in contact with hydrogen gas at one bar, which is the unit of pressure, uh, in contact with H plus ions. It with solution, this is just ions, the concentration is 1 molar 
we have the salt brick and on the other side again we have the platinum electrode the hydrogen gas and we have the x plus ions uh, equals but the concentration this side is 1 into 10 to 2 minus 7 molar so we have to find out the emf the potential of this particular cell if you remember the constant uh, in a concentration cell e naught E0 is the standard EMF is always equal to 0 because it is the same type of electrode which is used on both the sides for a concentration set. So E0 is always equal to 0 for the concentration set. It is because this side also you can see it is a hydrogen gas electrode, this side also the hydrogen gas electrode. So usually it is the same electrode used on both the sides. So E0 works out to be zero so the nurse equation for the concentration cell will be e of the cell is equal to 0 0.059 log of uh, a2 upon a1 so a1 is the activity of this h plus ions and a2 is the activity of this h plus ions so if you substitute 0 0.059 log of A2. A2 is given to us as 1 into 10 raised to 7 divided by 1 is 1 molar. Okay. So log of 1 into 10 raised to minus 7 is minus 7. And if you multiply, you get the value as minus 0 0.4134. 